Aging. It's the one thing we all have in common. As the candles stack up, so do the wrinkles, the aches, and the slower reaction times. But under the surface, something more serious is happening. Aging is complex. It affects every system in the body, from how we move and think to what's happening deep in our cells. And while we've come to expect certain things with age, like slower metabolism, memory lapses, reduced strength, scientists are starting to ask, what if some of those changes aren't as set in stone as we thought? One area drawing attention is molecular hydrogen, specifically hydrogen-rich water. It's a simple idea, dissolve hydrogen gas into water, drink it, and see if it influences the aging process. It sounds like a little far-fetched at first, but a recent six-month clinical trial put this question to the test, not in cells or animals, but in people aged 70 and older. The study tracked a wide range of markers, from telomere length and DNA methylation to brain chemistry, and the results, they suggest that something real might be happening here. That doesn't mean it's a miracle or that we have all the answers, but it does open a new line of questioning. Can hydrogen-rich water influence biological aging? And if so, how? In today's episode, we'll walk through this study, look at what changed, and explore what it might mean for how we age. Let's get into it. This is the Hydrogen Studies Podcast, sponsored by Echo Water. Let's start with the core question behind the study. Can drinking hydrogen-rich water each day influence how we age, not just how we feel, but how our biology behaves over time? The researchers behind this trial weren't looking for dramatic transformations. They were looking for signals, measurable changes and markers linked to the aging process. That includes things like telomere length, DNA methylation, brain metabolism, and even basic physical function, like how easily you can get up from a chair. So who actually participated? 40 older adults volunteered to take part. Their average age was 76, with a range that included people well into their 80s. And these weren't frail or hospitalized individuals. They were living independently, in relatively good health, and free from major chronic illnesses like cancer or stroke or neurodegenerative disease. Men and women were equally represented. Body weight varied, but most participants were in the normal to slightly overweight, overweight range. Everyone gave informed consent and they were randomly assigned into one of two groups. One group received hydrogen-rich water, 0.5 liters per day, with a concentration of 15 parts per million of dissolved hydrogen gas. The other group got the same amount of water, but with no hydrogen added, and that was the control. Participants drank their assigned water daily for six months. They didn't change their diets or exercise routines. The goal was to isolate the effect of the water itself. It's a relatively small study, but well-controlled, and for aging research, it's rare to see this level of molecular detail in an older population. So what exactly did the researchers look for in this study? They focused on both what was happening inside the body at the cellular level and how participants were functioning day to day. So let's start with the internal markers. They measured telomere length. Telomeres are like the protective tips on shoelaces, but for your DNA. They tend to shrink as we age, and shorter telomeres are linked to cell aging. Longer telomeres, on the other hand, suggest better cellular health. They also looked at something called DNA methylation. This is one of the ways your body controls what genes are turned on or off. And as we get older, the system can drift out of balance. So the study tracked a gene involved in that process called TET2 to see if it responded to the hydrogen water. And next, they turned to the brain. Using a specialized type of MRI scan, they measured things like choline, creatine, and NAA in different brain areas. Now, these chemicals tell us about brain cell health, energy use, and how well neurons are functioning. On the physical side, they used a simple test, the chair stand. It asks how many times someone can stand up from a chair without using their hands. It may sound pretty basic, but it's actually a good measure of strength and mobility, especially in older adults. They also tracked body composition, blood pressure, and even used imaging to look at skin condition, hydration, smoothness, and wrinkle depth. And finally, they gathered feedback on sleep, pain, and overall quality of life. Now, it's important to remember here, participants kept their usual habits. Same food, same activity level. The goal was to see what changed just from the water itself. And the study was safe. No major side effects were reported. Now, why does this kind of design matter? Because this study ran for a full six months, looking at molecular aging, brain function, physical strength, and how people felt, all in adults 70 and older, 
It's not a huge trial and it doesn't claim to have all the answers, but it's a solid starting point and it asks an important question. Can something as simple as hydrogen rich water make a difference in how we age? We'll get to that right after a word from our sponsor. Your body is a system and when it's running right, you feel focused, energized, in flow. But sometimes we struggle to find that flow state. Why? Because there's too much static in our system, brain fog, fatigue, and inflammation. The Echo Flask clears the static by infusing your water with molecular hydrogen, a natural science-backed gas that helps your body think sharper, recover faster, and run smoother. This is more than hydration. It's better focus, more energy, faster recovery, less internal stress, and long-term benefits that keep you sharp. When your water works harder, your whole system does too. Find your flow state with the Echo Flask hydrogen water bottle and get an unlimited supply of hydrogen water at home and on the go. Visit echowater.com and use code H2studies to get 10% off of your first order with Echo Hydrogen Water products. So, what actually happened after six months? Let's start with one of the most interesting findings, telomere length. People who drank the hydrogen-rich water saw their telomeres get longer by about 3%. Meanwhile, in the group that drank regular water, telomeres got dramatically shorter. Now, that's important because, as we mentioned earlier, shorter telomeres are one of the key signs of cellular aging. So this small shift could mean that their cells were aging a bit more slowly. Next, the researchers looked at DNA methylation, that system that helps turn genes on and off. They tracked a gene called TET2, which plays a role in DNA repair and aging. TET2 activity increased in both groups, but it went up significantly more in the group drinking hydrogen-rich water, which hints at something real happening at the genetic level. They also looked at overall levels of methylation in the blood. Methylation in simple terms is like turning a light switch on and off for specific genes in your body or gene regulation. Aging is associated with decreased methylation, causing this process of gene regulation to become more erratic, meaning genes that should be silenced are no longer silenced. Keeping methylation in place or increasing it keeps gene regulation in a more orderly fashion. There wasn't a huge difference between the two groups, but there was a trend toward improvement in the hydrogen group, while the control group saw a decline. Now let's talk about the brain. Using MR spectroscopy, the researchers measured chemicals that reflect brain health. In the hydrogen water group, there were clear improvements in choline, creatine, and NAA, all of which are tied to things like memory, cell health, and brain energy. These changes were most noticeable in the frontal and parietal areas of the brain, areas involved in thinking, movement, and attention. That doesn't mean people suddenly became smarter or faster, but it suggests their brain cells might have been working more efficiently. Now on the physical side, one result stood out, the chair stand test. The group drinking hydrogen water showed a significant improvement in how many times they could stand up and sit down in a row. And that matters because lower body strength is strongly tied to independence, fall risk, and overall mobility as we age. The researchers also saw some trends toward better sleep quality and less pain, though those weren't as strong or statistically significant. And when it came to things like blood pressure, skin condition, and body composition, there weren't major changes between the two groups. So what does this all mean? Well, this wasn't a miracle makeover. It didn't reverse aging overnight. But in just six months, several small but meaningful changes showed up in cells, in the brain, and in the body. And those changes all pointed in the same direction, slightly more resilience a little more function, a few markers of aging moving the right way, not because of a drug or major intervention, but just from a small daily habit. So now the big question, why? Why might drinking water with dissolved hydrogen gas lead to changes in your cells, your brain, or even your physical strength? And the short answer is we're still figuring that out. But researchers do have some solid clues. And let's start with one of hydrogen's best known features. It acts as a selective antioxidant. That means it can help reduce oxidative stress, but it doesn't wipe out all free radicals the way some stronger antioxidants do. Small amounts of oxidative stress and inflammation are necessary for normal functioning. Instead, hydrogen seems to target the most damaging ones, like hydroxyl radicals and peroxynitrite. These are the kinds of molecules that can damage DNA, harm mitochondria, and speed up aging if they're not kept in check. By neutralizing these harmful compounds, hydrogen might give cells a bit of a breather, helping them repair, recover, and function more efficiently. But that's just one part of the picture. Hydrogen also seems to have an effect on cell signaling, 
In other words, the way cells communicate with each other and respond to stress. In past studies, hydrogen has been shown to lower levels of chronic inflammation, improve mitochondrial function, which is key for energy, support autophagy, the body's natural cleanup process, and even affect gene expression, including genes linked to aging and cell repair. When you combine those effects, the overall picture starts to make sense. If your cells are under less stress, if your mitochondria are working better, and if your DNA is staying more stable, that might show up as longer telomeres, better brain chemistry, or even stronger muscles over time. What's especially interesting is that this hydrogen is tiny. It's the smallest molecule in the universe, and that lets it spread quickly through the body, including into places like the brain, where many other compounds can't easily go. And unlike many medications or supplements, hydrogen doesn't seem to disrupt normal biology. It's more like a quiet helper, reducing pressure in places where the body's under stress without getting in the way of everything else. Of course, we still need more studies, especially long-term trials with larger groups of people, but what we're seeing so far suggests that hydrogen isn't just an antioxidant. It's acting more like a gentle modulator, helping the body stay balanced as it ages. So far, we've walked through what changed in the study and why hydrogen-rich water might have played a role. But now let's talk about what this study doesn't tell us. First, it's important to remember this was a pilot trial. That means this was designed to explore possibilities not to give final answers. There were only 40 participants, and that's a small group. While the results are interesting, they need to be confirmed in larger studies, ideally with hundreds or even thousands of people. Also, some of the changes like the improvements in DNA methylation showed trends, but didn't reach full statistical significance. In other words, they might be meaningful or they might just be noise in the data. Larger studies will help sort that out. And finally, we don't know how long the benefits last. Do the changes stick around after people stop drinking hydrogen water? Do the effects build over time or do they plateau? That's something future research will need to explore. Still, this study opens the door to something important. It suggests that aging isn't just something we have to accept passively, that there may be small, non-invasive ways to support our biology as we grow older. Hydrogen-rich water isn't a cure. It's not a silver bullet, but based on this trial, it looks like a tool that might support healthier aging, especially when combined with good nutrition, movement, sleep, and other daily habits. What are the next steps? We need larger, longer studies. We need to test different doses, different delivery methods, and different populations, including people with existing health conditions. The more we learn, the more we can begin to answer the bigger question. Can something as simple as hydrogen, a molecule that's been around since the beginning of the universe, actually help us age better? That's where the research is headed. So let's bring it all together. This study wasn't about turning back time didn't promise dramatic transformation or a way to cheat death. But what it offered was something more grounded and in some ways more hopeful. Researchers took a simple invention, just two cups of hydrogen-rich water a day, and tested it in people over 70. They weren't sick. They weren't taking medication. They were just older adults living their lives. After six months, there were signs, small but real, that something had shifted. Cells aging more slowly, brain chemistry improving, muscles working a little better. And that's the aha moment here. Not that hydrogen-rich water is a miracle, but that aging itself might be more flexible than we think. That daily habits, even small ones, can add up. That the line between feeling older and functioning well might be something we can influence. Gently, gradually, but meaningfully. This study gives us more questions than answers, and that's exactly what good science should do. What happens in longer studies? What about different ages or people with health conditions? How does this fit with exercise, sleep, or nutrition? There's a lot more to learn. But here's what we know so far. Hydrogen-rich water appears safe. It's easy to use. And in this trial, it nudged some key aging markers in a positive direction. That's not a headline. It's a starting point. And maybe that's the most exciting part because when it comes to aging well, the most powerful tools might not be the most complicated. Sometimes progress begins with a glass of water and a good question. If today's episode sparked your interest, I encourage you to dive into the research for yourself on hydrogenstudies.com. Next episode, we'll go even deeper. We're talking hydrogen and the brain, memory, focus, and neuroprotection. What does science say about cognitive aging and can hydrogen help protect the brain as we get older? That's coming up next on the Hydrogen Studies podcast. Stay healthy, stay curious, and we'll catch you next time. I'm Tim Anderson. Thanks for listening.